I am eternally grateful to be me. I am grateful for and deserving of eternal peace, joy, and happiness. My life is filled with pure, authentic, and abundant happiness and laughter. Money is gifted to me because of who I am, and I enjoy being generous. Everything I give blesses others and returns to me tenfold. Mental clarity, faith, and peace of mind come to me easily. All of my needs are taken care of. My body is healthy, agile, flexible, and getting stronger every day. I am confident and I speak with confidence easily. My voice will always be heard. My heart and mind are filled with love, positivity, and pure intention. I am present and grateful to be eternally present with myself, God, and spirit. Hey y'all, it's Kelsey Janae. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Kelsey, I'm a pole dancer and pole instructor. I talk about all things pole on my channel, but today I'm doing a vlog and I'm sounding kind of raspy right now. Like that is not even cute, but I'm doing a vlog today and it feels kind of weird because I haven't vlogged or filmed anything in like over a month at this point. So being back on camera is like, what am I even doing? And if my speech sounds a little different, it's because I have my clear aligners in. So I just started Smile Direct Club over the past month. So that's been pretty cool but other than that the last month has been pretty difficult which is why I haven't been filming I haven't been uploading anything I haven't even been teaching pole dance I haven't been doing any type of pole dancing at all I've been dealing with some health issues some physical and mental health issues and it kind of just got to a point where I hit an all-time low that I've never been at before and so I reached a point where I really just did not know what to do um, and then also because my physical health was impacted I wasn't even able to teach or pole dance for a few weeks at a time and it was just it's kind of out of my control but now I'm at a point today on Monday July 5th after the weekend I've had I'm ready to just get up get back to work refocus I'm vlogging this entire week because it's gonna be kind of busy I'm back in the studio I'm back teaching I'm actually teaching a pole party today so that's a lot of fun so pole parties I teach bachelorette parties or birthday parties and it's just a lot of fun it's really different than my typical classes because they're not as structured they're a little bit more freeform the girls are all drinking you know everybody's just lit and having fun so I love doing parties and this is the first one I'm doing at this studio, so I'm super excited about it. So I have to get ready for that today. I have to figure out what I'm doing with my hair, which I was gonna do a wig today, but honestly, I don't even feel like doing my hair today. Like I'm probably just gonna keep this little puff, lay my edges or whatever, and then I'll worry about my wig later in the week. But yeah, so I'm happy to be back in the studio. I actually took a class on Saturday, so July 3rd. I took a class with my sister who came to town. It was her birthday, and I haven't seen her in over a year. So she came home, and it was just amazing to spend time with her and her pole studio actually closed so she actually got me into pole. I have a video on my channel talking about why I started pole dancing. If you want to check it out I'll leave it linked right there. But my sister got me into it long story short and so she hasn't been able to pole um, in her city because her studio closed unfortunately so she came home. I took her to her class and it just felt so good to be able to dance with her and just be surrounded by people who genuinely love me and want to see me happy and care about my well-being. So it's time to get back in shape. I want to get back to work, get back to conditioning. I did just post a conditioning video so if you have haven't checked out this video go check it out but I filmed that like over a month ago so I have not been doing anything since then so now I'm like all right it's time to buckle down get back to it so that's what I'm trying to do just show up as my highest self the way I want to live my life and the way I see life happening for me I want to intentionally live in that every single day so that's what I'm trying to do now so yeah as you can see this morning like I start off with my tea and my reading and actually I had let me find the comment so Takia L commented on one of my other videos she said could you please give us a book list? Those titles in the background have definitely caught my attention and I'm not gonna go through all of them right now, but the book I've been reading lately is The Alchemist. I love this book so much. It's by Paolo Coelho and it's just an amazing book. The back of the book says, to realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation from The Alchemist. And this book, as I've been reading it, like I just picked it up recently over the past few months and I've been getting through it. Cause when I read books, I read multiple books at a time I never just finish one book and go to the next I'm always like jumping back and forth in between books but everything that I've read in this book so far is just resonating and hitting home so much for me and the way I just kind of want to live my life and the way I see the world so if you're a highly intuitive person or you're into spirituality and things like that I do highly recommend this book and if you just want an alternative view of the world and how we should view the world and live our lives this book is a great eye-opener for that so I highly suggest it so I'm reading that what else 
else oh up here this is carl young the red book i haven't even i tried to touch this book but i need to be in a certain state of mind to be able to read this because it is extremely dense but i want to get through it but there's a lot going on in this book so i have to come back to it but this book becoming supernatural love this book it's by dr joe dispenza and it says how common people are doing the uncommon and this book is everything if you're from another world like i am not from this planet i would highly suggest getting into this book it talks about just vibrating on a higher frequency and the science behind actually doing it i love it because the intertwined spirituality and vibrating at a higher frequency with scientific explanations so if you're a person who needs logic and needs reason to explain things this book is going to do that for you and show you how important it is to really vibrate at that higher level so i haven't finished this book either i'm about halfway through it but it's been calling my name to get back into it so i'm going to be getting back into this soon probably sometime this week i'm probably going to be switching back and forth between the alchemist and this book but yeah i love this book so far so i'm excited to get back into it and then what else i'll give y'all one more may god help us find our way by Raina biddy it's a book of poetry Raina is an artist a poet a writer but honestly just one of my favorite people of all time she also has a podcast with her cousin sky townsend who's a comedian and i just her mind her wisdom like everything about her her writing like i have all of her books but i've been reading this one may god help us find her way she is just one of my favorite people and she even does like tarot readings and things like that so i've gotten readings from her and this woman is just phenomenal and she's someone who's my age as well so it's interesting to be able to see the parallels of somebody who's around the same age as me and what their life experience is and being able to learn from them and just like also know that i'm not alone in the things that i'm experiencing at this age i really just connect to her on that level so this is another book i would highly suggest especially if you're into poetry Raina is that girl um but what else oh i've been trying to wake up earlier because i find that i feel better when i start my day earlier i know people always talk about that like you know rise and grind whatever i start my day at 5 a.m and i used to think like bro what is the point of waking up that early when i could just sleep in problem is this whole past year i've been sleeping in till like 11 o'clock in the morning and it's just like bro it feels like half of my day is already gone and then i'm rushing through the day trying to get things done and i just don't like that feeling but if i can do it a few days a week i think it will make a big difference on my productivity so i'm gonna work on doing that um but yeah i think that is pretty much <laughs> my life update for right now um so for today i have to get ready for this poll party so i have to figure out what i'm wearing i have to figure out what i'm teaching and i have to make a playlist for the party i think it's a birthday party i'm actually not sure so i picked out a couple random pieces that i'm gonna try on to see what i want to wear today for this party and then i have this bag from my sister because every time i see her she always gives me stuff like whether it's clothes shoes headphones whatever she always has something for me so this time she brought a huge bag with all these pole clothes that she either doesn't wear or hasn't worn whatever forgot about and she just put it all in a bag for me so i'm gonna go through this bag to see what's in here to see if there's anything in here that i can wear this week but yeah i'm just gonna try things on to see what i'm vibing with so here's the first outfit i have this leopard print top with a little bit of under boob which i love i got these scrunchy shorts they're like scrunched and ruched on the side how do you say that ruched and i got these from my sister she gave these to me and then i have my thigh high pleaser boots on and this is honestly giving i love this i feel like it might be a little bit too much for a party because i don't know who's in the party and i don't know what their vibe is gonna be like like it can either be like super ratchet super lit or it could be the girls who just aren't as comfortable with the pole and want to try it out but they're not as risque and this under boob is giving a lot i think i feel more comfortable wearing this in class with people who already know me and know my style and know how i am because they're going to be used to seeing like my body but i might just wear this for class on wednesday because it's definitely Definitely giving I'm loving this and this leopard print is doing it for me it's the it's honestly the under boob for me like the under boob is doing what it needs to do it makes my butt look good yes these shorts make my butt look so good and then that's the back of the top it's like a holder top in the back and I'll leave everything linked down below if I can like I know this top is from I Heart raves I get a lot of stuff from there boots are from pleasers and then I don't know where my sister got these shorts from but I'll leave links down below in the description box of what I can if you want to go check out stuff for yourself and if you're in the market for 
some new pole clothes. All right, so here's outfit number two. And honestly, you guys, I'm already sold. I am definitely wearing this to the party tonight. I got this bikini top from Shein. It's part of a set, but I'm just wearing the top right now. And it has this little gold buckle detail, which I love. And honestly, you guys, it took me like 15 minutes to figure out how to buckle this buckle. Like, I don't always have it up here, y'all. Sometimes it takes me a little bit while to catch on, but it took me a minute to figure this out. But I finally did, and it's not that hard. Um, but it's really, really cute. It's a little bit tight around my midsection, but not too uncomfortable. I think I got it in a size medium, I think, because that's the problem with Shein. Like in bottoms, I'm a large, but in tops, I'm like a medium because the top don't match the bottom, but it's cool. So I'm just wearing the top right now. And then I got these, I don't even know what to call this, like shorts, romper, whatever. So it's like biker shorts, but they connect at the top like a romper, like overalls. So you have the string that connects up here and you can tie it however high or low you want to. And then this is the back, the bikini top crisscrosses in the back and then these are just high waisted. And then I paired them with my peep toe ankle boots from Pleasers. So basically just a shorter version of the thigh highs and they have a peep toe. And I think it goes really nice with my side puff that I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna bring this puff more to the side. I'm gonna pick it out so it's really, really big. And I think, yeah, it's just gonna give what it needs to tonight. Yeah, I'm definitely wearing this for the party tonight. I am sold. This is it. So much. Um, it probably feels that towards your parents like even more ironic and funny about the situation is I'm the eldest yes but so here's how I'm styling my natural hair for this party that I'm doing. Um, nothing super crazy. I'm literally just putting my hair in a side puff. So this is an old braid out. It's like almost a week old. Um, and I just put some water on it so I can moisturize my hair a little bit, then reposition my puff to where I wanted it to be. And then I laid my edges. I didn't show you guys what I used, but I show you later in the video. I lay my edges with the main choice pearly braid out glaze. So that's what I put on there. And then once I'm done, I just go ahead and throw my scarf on so I can let my edges set down and then I'm good to go. And that's how I style my natural hair anytime I go to the studio. All right, so here's what I'm wearing over my outfit. Just threw on this oversized t-shirt. It's a butterfly inside of a clock. Really pretty, got it from Shein. And just some basic brown sweatpants. Probably got them from like Fashion Over or something like that. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing to the studio. And gotta feed Mamba Kitty before I leave. There you go. He's a messy eater. All right, time to get out of here. I got my bag, I got my purse, I got my shoes, I got my grip, I got my music, I got my camera, I got my tripod. Got my clothes. Cool, got my masks. I still wear masks in the studio right now while I'm teaching. A lot of people who come to the studio are vaccinated, so that's really like nice to know. It makes me comfortable whenever I do go to class or I'm teaching. I know like a majority of people do have it, but not everybody does. So I still just wear my mask just because, and I actually kind of prefer it. Like honestly, like y'all don't need to see my face. <laughs> that's just how I be feeling most of the time. Um, I don't mind wearing it though. Ooh, it is hot, honestly. RIP to my edges. Ugh, this is why I almost did not even want to do my hair today. I'm like, bro, I'm just gonna sweat it out but like you know what got to see it through my boy i will catch i want to get to the studio <laughs>
just finished the party. Now it's time to wipe down these pools and get out of here. Oh, it was a lot of fun. The girls had a lot of fun. I had a group of like 15 people. It was someone's birthday party. They were lots of fun. They weren't drunk and belligerent like a lot of my parties are. So that helped too that everyone, you know, was like listening and involved. That's always good because when people get too drunk, it gets out of hand. Let me show you guys what I wore. I love these. These are really comfortable. I had to pull them up to um, get more of my thighs showing because whenever I tried to do inverts and go up the pole. And I had a nip slip, of course. I knew that was going to happen. I thought this was like 100% secure, but it's like 98% secure. So I don't know what I did, but whole titty just popped out. But it happens. It happens all the time in regular class. I'm used to it. But yes, I am done with class. It was fun. It's only like 7.45, almost 8 o'clock. So it's an early night for me. So I'm about to head home, figure out what's for dinner, and catch y'all tomorrow. y'all it's tuesday 10 22 p.m i just got done editing for the day i've been editing for like the past two hours so i'm trying this thing where i like vlog and edit as i go so i don't just have like a bunch of footage and trying to edit it all at once for a video i got a decent amount done um like i said it's it's 10 22 p.m at night and i'm about to prep for my class tomorrow so i have two classes to teach tomorrow the first one is my beginner choreo class and that class is open to all levels so basically i just teach a short combo around the pole with some basic spins and tricks and it's a lot of fun it's always a vibe i love that class because it gives me space to be as creative as i want to be and play around as much as i want and then i have my choreography series which is a four week course which is more intensive and involved we have four weeks to go over a bunch of different spins tricks transitions flows uh performance styles things like that and then i teach an entire song so you know it's also testing your endurance as well and building up your endurance because you have like two to three minutes of a song that you're performing the entire way Way through but yes it is almost 10 30 and i'm just now about to prep for class so let's do it oh and i did my hair earlier today i washed it i braided it down so i could wear a wig tomorrow i don't know which wig i'm gonna wear y'all honestly i need some new hair so if you're looking to send somebody some hair sis or you know somebody who knows somebody i really need some new hair i need a new wig i need a new something because i've been wearing these same two wigs and just changing them out every time i teach but it is time for me to get some new hair but yeah i'll figure all that out tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and prep for class. It shouldn't be too long. I just have to lock down this choreography So I'm about to just go review it over and over and over drill it in my head So I make sure I know exactly what I'm teaching when it comes time for class tomorrow All right, so change of plans as you can probably hear it is pouring down rain outside So what I'm not about to do is throw on this wig that I just took an hour and a half to wash blow dry and straighten Just to go outside in the rain so we are just gonna go ahead and do a little half wig, a little synthetic half wig, make it do what it do because yeah, I just put too much work into that hair. So we will save it, you know, for another day when it is not thunderstorming and pouring rain. I'm so mad. It was so nice earlier. It was sunny. I mean, I knew I said it was gonna rain, but I didn't know it was gonna rain like that. So whatever, here's my braids, my straight backs, four braids in the front and then I have two big braids in the back because that's just how I section my hair when I'm doing it and it just makes it easier. So I'm just gonna braid all of these braid ends together. So my braids are pinned back. I'm gonna take this thin silk bonnet now and I'm gonna throw this on on top of my braids and I'm gonna pull it so that it is taut and flat and I'm twisting the end to wrap it under and tuck it under the bonnet so that I can protect my hair. I don't want it to dry out from just a regular wig cap because I feel like when I just wear the wig cap by itself, my hair gets so, so dry. So this is to protect my hair and keep it moisturized. Since I just washed it and conditioned it and stuff and put all this product in it, I want to make sure it doesn't dry out under a wig and a wig cap. So I put the silk bonnet on first, tuck it under because it has a tendency to unravel and then just get a wig cap and throw this on top to secure the silk all right cool so now to address these edges and for my edges i'm using this main choice pearly braid out glaze i love using this product on my braid outs and they just seem to slick my edges back really nice so i like using it Bro, don't tell me I was out of focus this whole time. 
All right, so while my edge is set, I'm gonna get dressed, get my bag together, all that good stuff, and then I'll come back on to put on the wig. All right, I'm back and I'm dressed. Here's the shirt I'm wearing. It says send nudes. <laughs> I got it from Five Below. Um, I had to change the outfit that I'm wearing to class tonight though because I was gonna wear that leopard print top that I showed y'all earlier in the week when I was trying on my clothes. But I need some pasties to go with it and I thought I had some but I can't find them or I like I ran out. So I need to order some more pasties because I'm tired of having nip slips and I could literally avoid that just by wearing my pasties more often. So I'm gonna start doing that. Um, Yeah, taking this little synthetic half wig. Ugh down it on and honestly i love these for class because you know i sweat a lot so wearing like a little half wig works a lot of the time because it really doesn't uh, mess up that much when i'm dancing compared to like my human hair it does tangle a lot but i really want to get some more workout friendly human hair wigs because I like the fact that I can wash them and they last longer than synthetic wigs, but synthetic wigs are just so convenient, especially the construction of them when I can just throw on a half wig. <sighs> yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Changed my outfit, changed my hair, completely not what I had planned for this week, but it's fine. You know, you gotta roll with a thunderstorm. So this is what the half wig is looking like. And so there's two combs in the front and then I just put two bobby pins on the side just to secure it a little bit more. Cause you know, I'd be doing them flips and stuff upside down. And I'm probably gonna try to get it to look like, I don't know, like a little bit more frizzy to look a little bit more natural and not so defined. That's the one thing I love about curly synthetic hair is that it does look very realistic, especially the longer you wear it over time. It just becomes more, not as defined, less shiny. Curls look a little bit more natural. But these curls are actually still pretty defined because I don't wear this wig a lot. I actually forgot I had it. <laughs> but I have about half an hour before I need to get out of here. And I really hope traffic isn't gonna be crazy, but I have a feeling it is because of the rain. Every time it rains, people act like they don't know how to drive. Even when it stops raining, like people still be acting like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna drive 10 miles per hour. Like I know safety, but like, come on bro, it's just rain. So here's how the hair turned out. I think it looks pretty good. Yes, if y'all know somebody who's a hair plug, please let me know, please send me some hair. Please send me some hair so I can review it for y'all and show you how it stands up to fitness, working out, pole dancing, getting sweated out. I need some good hair that can withstand a workout. If you know a plug, please get at me. So here's the outfit I changed into. I think it's giving. I forgot I had these little leg ties. I just found them in my drawer when I was looking for my pasties. I found these instead. So I was like, cool, I'll just wear these. It came with two, but I just wore one because I don't know. I kind of just like the vibe of one. I love these. They make my thighs look good. My butt look good. <laughs> yeah, I only usually teach two spins, but I had time to do three because y'all was just picking it up. So I like when I have small classes sometimes because it's like a little more intimate. feedback 
definitely let me or Ebony know. Always trying to get better. Um, but I thank y'all so much. And again, thank y'all for your patience and flexibility over the last few weeks too with my absence. But I had so much fun with everyone. I hope you did too. All right, and that is a wrap for my classes tonight. It's time for me to eat. All right, y'all, so we made it to Friday, and y'all, by the time it was Friday, I was so beat, but I was determined to get up and film this tutorial. So I actually filmed a video conditioning your invert, so if you wanna go check that out, it's already posted on my channel. I will leave it linked right here. Um, but before I actually did the tutorial, I decided to have a quick pole session with myself, not only to get my body warmed up, but kind of just to, you know, get some light movement going on, even though I had a pretty intense week already. It still felt good to move around the pole and of course like you're seeing here I'm not doing anything super intense just some low flow vibey movement around the pole really working on base work and floor work um, and seeing what my body wants to do so I always encourage people to do that you know if you have time and you have a pole at home just to do some low flowy movement it doesn't always have to be super intense or about the trick sometimes it just feels good to move and a lot of times you can figure out your own style in that way by just freestyling and doing this low flow movement so of course I will leave my poll link down below in the description box if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself but yes this was a good note to end the week on I felt so accomplished and also just so good to get back to moving around the pole again because like I said before um, this is me coming off of over a month of not doing any type of pole dancing so it felt good to get back on my pole and to just move around and to vibe out Twenty. that felt really good I mean I am super super rusty right now because I haven't pulled in basically a month at this point so to be jumping back into it this week kind of full throttle like this is the one two this is the third time I've pulled this week the first time I've pulled at home in a very long time I have not used this pull in over a month so it felt kind of weird to get back on it because like you know every pole feels differently you know between at home and at the studio and so to get used to my pole again it was like oh wait a minute you know because this isn't the top of the line pole y'all know I got my pole from Amazon I always have it linked in my description box but I always tell people to get an X pole if you can because that is the top of the line pole brand period but if you need something more affordable Amazon has some good poles I also recommend fit to flaunt I want to buy one of Shelly's poles at some point but her poles are also really good and affordable as well but yes my pole you know it's a little rusty it's a little dusty especially because I haven't been using it so it took me a minute to get it to start really spinning again and like just the spatial awareness you know because I haven't danced in here in so long like I'm trying to remember how much space I have between the pole and the bed so I don't keep hitting my foot off of it and hurting myself um but it felt good to just train in here and train in my space again and to even record another tutorial because I really didn't think I was gonna get to it this week. So I'm so proud of myself that I did and I had the energy to do it and I just got up and did it, so. It's the small things for me right now, like every little positive thing that's happening right now, like I just have to be so grateful for it because it's just like, thank God I was able to do this, it's a blessing, I'm happy to be able to do it and I'm just trying to really count my blessings each and every day so all the good things that happen, I really just wanna honor it and appreciate it while I have it, so. Enough of me rambling, I need to get some food. Here's lunch, I made a turkey burger, I got turkey burgers from Trader Joe's and just put some potato chips on the side and a little Caesar side salad to go with that. Yes, I need two plates y'all, I like to eat. And 
and I found this sparkling water. It's cucumber melon. I've never had a flavor like this before, but thought it was interesting. So I'm gonna try it out and hopefully it's good. It would probably make a really good like mojito or some kind of cocktail, but I'm just gonna try it on its own and watch some YouTube. Well, it is 3.30. I just got done eating my lunch and I am so tired, you guys. Like, I don't know if I just ate a lot or I just feel like I did a lot. I feel like I did a lot today, but honestly, the whole week was really productive and I think I deserve to rest now, especially 3.30 on Friday. Like, it's time to clock out. It's time to check out for the weekend. So that is exactly what I'm about to do. All I'm doing right now is just editing some videos from class to post on Instagram. I wanna start making more reels and just being more active on there in general. So I'm just going through my camera roll. Um, to see what I recorded the other day when I was at the studio and to try to like make a reel and whatever, you know, all, all the things the kids are doing these days. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely make sure you do that at Janeway on Instagram and all platforms. So yeah, I'm just editing these videos. Once I do that and figure out what I wanna post today, I'm gonna be clocked out. I'm gonna get back into this book or I'm probably just gonna watch Steven Universe and fall asleep. Either way, I'm pretty much done for the day and I'm done for the week. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, thank you especially. Like, you're really a real one and I appreciate you. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.